What's up, everybody? My name is Nickerson. Thanks for joining me in my newest series, The 30 Days of Halloween. And this is episode one for October 1st. We got my good friend Mumbo Raz on for this episode. What's up, Mumbo? Hey. Let's roll. All right, let's roll. Let's roll with that one. So it's October 1st. It's starting to become fall, fall weather, fall vibes. So I had to go with 2016's The Witch. And you saw The Witch recently, didn't you? No. Yeah. Thanks to uh, thanks to Nickerson's recommendation, I, I was like, I'll check this out. You know, that movie was for me it was an instant favorite. It was it felt like the 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 story was definitely unique. Yeah. Um, it was. It was original, you know, like there was some parts familiar because, you know, the Salem witch trials and the, the Puritans, but they really had their own vibe. They, uh, how they, the, hey, they got excommunicated, right? Yep. From their, from their village community, whatever you want to call it. And, um, so they already were living under stress because they had to fend for themselves that, you know, no market stuff like that. They had to go their own food. They were already stressed about that. So they're, they have the guilt of not being a religious Puritan, like their, you know, like their community was so there they pits them stressful against each other and then you get the the witch aspect of it and the internal struggles with the family it was it was really cool yeah i liked it and you liked it too right so yeah i, I thought it was <clears throat> i thought it was really cool just the uh the idea of them like kind of living on their own and they're like like wicked religious so they're sitting there and they're like wicked religious like oh please pl please lord like bless our crops and all that and they just like it's just like struggle after struggle like that the crops the <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the crops are just uh, uh, they're just they're failing and like they're, they're like the like you said the stress of being excommunicated so they got that weighing them down they're like you know the the witch is basically like in our back neighborhood so there's that added to it that's just like all this all this insanity that's just bogging them down bum, bumming them out really setting the mood yeah, it adds to the stress. And I'll say, I'm, I'm a huge uh, gamer, as you know if you watch my gaming videos, and so is he. And I, I love survival horror video games, and it had me in that kind of, like, panicky, frightened state of mind. And for a movie, I find that a lot more rare, because a game is more immersive. Yep. You know, you're actually connected. You're the one, instead of just watching people. But this movie was super engaging, and it was... It was frightening, and I thought how they did the the super high stressful pans of the the woods with the high strings. It's like yeah, or whatever you know yeah. <laughs> that those cool like high string stress. You know that was cool, and um, yeah, like that. I love the uh, the first scene you see the witch. Oh yes. So she's got a baby, and she she's got a knife, and then you can watch that part on your own. And she takes the baby's blood, and then the, it cuts to a scene. It's like, ring, 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 ring. it's a, like really intense high strings, and she's on the ground like this gross witch with gray hair, big nose, like fat, gross body, and like she's like rubbing the blood, like kind of like seizing and joy, rubbing the baby's blood all over her, and then it cuts to the family, and I was like, whoa, this is dark. <laughs> I like this movie. Instantly, right. when I saw that scene, I was like, oh, shit, this is fucking serious. This is this is a serious movie. I, I, I didn't know, you know, how to go into the movie because I saw the trailer. I was like, oh, it looks all right. You know, like, I'll go see it. But I was like, that moment, you knew. I fucked up. <laughs> yeah, that, that scene was wild. So she's sitting there with the baby, and I just remember she's naked, and she just goes like this with the baby, and I'm like, all right, like, what is that? Like, I, I have no idea what, what, what's going on, but I'm like, like freaking out and then it goes into the pot you were talking about i'm like all right that's like still disturbing but i'm just like good lord like couldn't put like clothes on like nobody wanted to see that sack of potatoes <laughs> yeah she was like a big lump of mashed potatoes <laughs> oh god Ugh. so creepy dude that was like i don't know man that that was it was like disturbing haunting like all these all these descriptive words that you'd use for a, you know something terrifying basically. yeah and then she's she's like you said she was she's obviously you know rubbing herself in that that baby's blood you know trying to get good skin i'm sure but the thing that don't I, we all <laughs> the thing that really like blew my mind was like she's putting on her, her broomstick and i'm like what, what are you doing here is this kind of like wd-40 for your car or something like get it so it runs better i'm like pretty much she's putting on there she's putting a car i'm like this, this is crazy yeah 
And I just, I love the, the internal struggles, like I mentioned with the family before. It's like, they're already outed, right? So the family's under high stress. And then you get the daughter who is suspected of being a witch because she's, you know, the last one who sees a couple of the family members, not going to say who, yeah. go missing. And she was like suspect number one. And imagine like already your family's going through that stress of getting kicked out. And then you're the center of your family's attention there. Now they're all looking at you like that. Like they're going to excommunicate you from their family. And, and she kind of like, she almost, she embodied that. Like she got accused of being a witch so many times she played into it. She's like, yeah, I am a witch type of thing. And then I was like, no, 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 they definitely think you're a witch. Yeah. And they're going to try to kill you or do something, you know, get rid of you somehow. But, oh, man, that, that movie, oh, I loved it. I just loved The Witch. I had to do it for the first episode. Yeah. You know? What were some more parts you liked? Without, um, without too many spoilers, you know. So without too many spoilers, um, so you were talking about how, like, she was getting blamed for The Witch, and she was kind of like, right. like a fool. She's like, oh, yes, I am The Witch, and I yeah. signed the book and all that. And, yeah. Yeah. And I'm just like, all right, like, you're definitely shooting yourself in the foot, so when stuff goes down, they're like, all right, well, given the information, you know, since you're the witch, we're gonna throw you in the barn and board it up. And I'm like, that's that's wild. But I'm like, at the same time, like that's kind of what that's pretty much like a light sentence for that that time. They're like, we're right. gonna board up board you up in this this barn here like a wild animal because we don't know if you're the witch or not. Like we we have a pretty good idea that you are. And I'm just like, this is this is insane. <laughs> you know? Yeah, dude. I mean, that movie was just wild. It, it, the thing I like about uh, certain movies. And a quality I like is that when they're drawn out more and they, they really, you know, put the build there. Yeah. They build that. It's not like they, it's not like every movie now they just rush into the, the jump scares. And they, you know, like oh, modern horror is like so not okay with me for the most part. But like The Witch 2016, that's modern. And it was so good, dude. That movie's like seriously, if you haven't seen The Witch, you got to watch it. Especially like October 1st. You know, through October 31st is the prime time to watch this movie. Yeah. I loved how the um, the father's sitting there and, like, you know, honestly, to me, it sounded like Satan himself is there. He's like, oh, I, what can I do to, to save my family? He's just, like, talking to this really deep voice. And he's like, Lord, I'm going to sit here and take the dust off of the earth and look at And he literally scoops up some dirt and he's like put it in his mouth like <laughs> that level of commitment to just like please just end my my misery or just like in his case like save my family you can do what you want to me you know yeah <laughs> that was crazy and then you got black philip okay i'm not oh, gonna God. give too much details about him you know you'll have to see it but black philip had this quote and it was so dark it was like I was like, oh, that was like, <clears throat> that was like creepy. I was like, you know, that was a, you know, like a super dark voice. Again, I'm not trying to give away too much, but just to give you, get you a little excited that that part was super disturbing. And it was just like, and the fact that the movie has like a twist is just, you know, like, I think every movie should have a twist. It's just, oh, I loved it. It's just lazy. If you don't, you're just like, you know, you, you follow the same, you know, models that other movies are doing and you're like. But I, I love when there's a twist. When, if you can surprise me, uh, you know, if I'm watching a movie and then I'm like, whoa, I didn't expect that to happen, and it's good, I mean, you can't beat that. Yeah, that was that, that was great. Like, I'm sitting there watching the movie, and I'm, like, they, they kept pretty much got me going on this path. Like, all right, this is the villain of the movie. And then, like, any great twist, they, like, pepper in, like, little hints that, like, actually, this is the villain, not this person. So I'm just like... Oh, okay, all right. Now, now, like, looking back, yeah, it makes sense that that's the villain, not this person. I'm like, damn, it's a good twist. Yeah, it's uh, it's quite an interesting movie. And overall, I think this was the, the perfect one for episode one of the 30 Days of Halloween. It's a perfect Halloween movie, perfect horror movie. It's just it's incredible. Especially 2016, it's a modern movie, which, you know, in my opinion, I just think this most horror movies that come out nowadays are junk i think they've lost a lot of the passion and the creativity and this movie didn't lose any of that it's like it just ignored all the other movies came out and i was like nice right that shit was nice <laughs> but yeah i had to i had to talk about the witch for episode one i thought it was just fitting you know yeah and, uh, great choice yeah thanks man I'm, I'm glad you watched it. i'm glad you liked it dude seriously you got a whole bunch more 
Sweet. It's going to be a good time. So I just want to thank you all for watching the first episode of a new series called The 30 Days of Halloween. What movies would you like us to watch and review? Leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks again to Mumbo Raz. Thanks for having me, Nickerson. Anytime, brother. And we will see you on the next 30 Days of Halloween. Thanks again.